we want to begin today at the local level. Kansas Today's Carly Wells live at a polling location in Riverside. Carly, good morning to you. Talking about the state law that requires the polling places be open at 7 a.m. and close at 7 p.m. That's right. Good morning, Brett. Good morning, Gwen. The poll workers just arrived. The lights are on here at Riverside Christian Church. And keep in mind, state law does require polls to open by 7 and close by 7. That means if you're standing in line at 7 this evening, you will get to vote. But also look it up for your individual county because state law also allows counties to open as early as 6 a.m and close as late as 8 p.m. Now do not forget that voter ID when you head to the polls this morning. That can mean your driver's license, your U.S. passport, U.S. military ID or a Native American ID. Kansas Secretary of State Scott Schwab has reiterated this guidance issued to county election officials on that local mask requirements and says Kansas voters who choose to vote in person will be allowed to vote regardless of whether or not they wear a mask. And for those of us, for those who are being elected, the stakes are high at nearly every level of government. It, it is a, a highly polarized country right now from, from, you know, county commission races, legislative races, U.S. Senate, the presidency. It will be a challenge for whoever wins to try to figure out how to govern and bring people together. Here in Sedgwick County, again, polls open at 6 a.m. just about an hour from now, and they close at 7. Also, you have until 7 to get that advanced mail ballot dropped off to either a polling place, your local election office, or a ballot box. But don't be late because those ballot boxes will close at 7 o'clock. And, of course, catch your election coverage here on KSN and KSN.com all day long. Gwen? All right, Carly. Thanks so much. We're going to check back with you in just a few minutes. Nice.